the problem says that I have two propanol. Now you get me one propanol out of this two propanol. Convert two propanol into one propanol. This is the problem. And uh, this kind of conversion problem we had when we had mains in JE. Now we don't have conversion problem, but anyway, this can be uh, put in any form of paragraph or any kind of conversion problem and asked to you. Now you have to convert and uh, extending the idea of the last problem, think about it because this also seems to be kind of positional isomer. So think about it and try to convert 2 propanol into 1 propanol. Anyways, I'm going to tell you the answer, but better you solve it before you see that and hear the answer. So to do this, uh, the line of thinking should be, suppose you had bromine on the second position and uh, you, you, you were asked to get bromine on first position. Now this could have been done. Uh, this could have been done because the idea is uh, using peroxide addition you can get a bromine but that peroxide addition is done on alkene. So from this if you get an alkene here, from that alkene you can get a bromine here. Fine. Similarly you can if from this alcohol if you can get an alkene and from that alkene you can get a bromine on this first position and from that bromine can be substituted by a hydroxide group very easily by simple SN2 mechanism. So what we do is we carry out dehydration reaction that we studied in the method of preparation of alkene. If you carry out dehydration and if you remember the reagent of dehydration you will write it as H plus delta get propene. When you get propene and you carry out addition reaction using peroxide then bromine will be attached to first position. Now from here all you have to do is you have to substitute bromine and get a hydroxide group and that can be done by a simple substitution reaction. If you take aqueous OH- minus, that aqueous OH- minus will be inserted and that will throw out bromine, bromide ion which is very stable out of the substrate. Aqueous OH- minus is a nucleophile so it will go for substitution. Alcoholic OH- minus is a base. Alcoholic OH- minus is a base. And now if you if you suppose you added alcoholic OH- minus on this one bromopropane, then it would have carried out elimination. This we have seen at great length when we studied nucleophilicity versus basicity. I hope you remember. In case you haven't seen that, go and see that lecture bef before proceeding further. Because uh, this is important, alcoholic OH- is treated as a base, aqueous OH- is a nucleophile, this will show substitution, this will show elimination. This we have studied ab nauseam. Nevertheless, this has to be the pathway where you, via which you can get the required conversion reaction done. So this is all about anti markonifkov addition. Fine, let's move ahead. Let's move to the third kind of reaction, third kind of addition of alkene. 